Hello Zebrahurt and welcome back to the Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy. It has been almost a year since I've last played this game, but as of today, it should be available on the Nintendo Switch, the Xbox, and the PC, I think. I'm playing on the Nintendo Switch and a big thank you to Activision for sending me on over a code. Along with the release of the ports is a brand new DLC level, the Future Tense levels. And I'm gonna be playing that today as we enjoy the uh, DLC, or no, we're gonna enjoy the DLC level as we enjoy the Switch version, take a look at it on Crash 3 Warp and see how everything goes. I played a tiny bit of it to try to unlock some superpowers, but unfortunately, I just simply ran out of time. I, I really couldn't find any time to play through Crash 3, so I won't have any of the superpowers you get for defeating bosses, so hopefully we can complete the level still, but we'll have to, you know, go and find out by uh, going up here. So if we were looking for the future tense level, it is just right here. We hop on this thing just like that, and it, gets, it gets, brings us up here, which is pretty cool. And as you can see, that brings you to level 31, which should be future 10. So there's actually two gems and the time trial thing we can get here. I'll try it and you know we'll sort of check out the Switch version as we do this. If I have a super duper hard time with this, maybe I'm not even, even able to fully complete the level without the Crash 3 power-ups. Maybe we could revisit it um, and try it on the PS4 version. Oh, look at this, sneaky boxes right away. So the interesting thing about this level is that it's completely original. Um, you might know that there was some DLC for the Crash Bandicoot 1 version of the Insane Trilogy, and that was actually a level that was in Crash 1, but was sort of a scrapped level. It was sort of notorious for being very difficult and being a level that was scrapped from the game for being too difficult. And then it was very cool, oh gosh, oh gosh, when they re-added it to uh, the game in the Insane Trilogy. But this level, it was not, as far as I understand, was not a canceled Crash 3 level. This is just, you know, it's an own thing. Oh boy, I was trying to get the extra life there, because honestly, I don't have too much in the save file. Started from total scratch. I don't think there's any way to transfer over your saves. Anyway, these guys, they have three shots and they stick out their butt. <laughs> was able to get him. So far, so good. This is my first time just playing the game on the Pro Controller. Honestly, it feels just like the PS4 version. Um, but it's so interesting. I mean, I know we've had technically other Crash Bandicoot games on Nintendo consoles before, but we've never had these Crash Bandicoot games. These were the PlayStation originals at some point, and now they're on Nintendo Switch, they're on Xbox and PC. And I'm really excited to see what might end up happening with that PC version. I wonder how open it is for modders to go in and maybe at some point make a couple custom levels by the community. That sounds amazing. I would love to check out something like that if it ever happens, but for right now, just having uh, the Insane Trilogy on the go is super cool. Oh, where are these coming from? I don't remember this in any normal Crash 3 level. That's interesting. Okay, this is where things really heat up <laughs> in a couple ways. Oh boy, oh boy. Whoa. And then, okay, be careful. I don't trust this one bit. So we gotta be careful because this dude's gonna spike up. And then, can I get you or not? Okay, that was weird. Okay, don't make a mistake. I don't think we've run into a single checkpoint. So this is where things get scary. So that goes one, two, one, two, one, two, and then I can go, whoa. Okay, you know what, you know what? Okay, oh my gosh. Oh, what have I missed here? First off, checkpoint time, for sure, and I need to be able to break something to get up there. I haven't seen an exclamation point block, but I'll look around for it for sure. Okay, so, the, so far this really is a massively, oh my gosh, are you serious? That wasn't cool. <laughs> I slid right in between it. So far, this has been a massively tough level. I think it would be so much easier if I actually had some of the Crash 3 powers, but I'm pretty sure I don't. Yeah, I don't like have double jump. I don't have the uh, super spin move, so things aren't as easy as they may appear if you are actually playing this after you've completed Crash 3. And like I said, if we struggle to get everything, maybe I'll have another episode coming up soon where we can check it out again with uh, my PS4 save, where of course I've fully 100% in this game. You're, if you don't know, you're watching episode 20 of this series. I fully 100% in all three of the Crash games. I didn't get all the time trials, but I got the, all I needed for the 100% and the 105% for Crash 3. And that was a lot of fun. Is there something up there? I don't think so, hard to tell. Oh, there might be. Oh, there is, there definitely is. Okay. Uh, maybe. Okay, dodge under that. Oh, this is super weird. Whoop. Okay, I'm glad I checked up here. Got it, get that, extra life. Oh, this is super tough. Got it, and then get rid of that. Be careful, because this is where it poops out everything. Oh, hey, look at that. 
Very cool, I like the level design so far. Fun little secrets, apparently I move faster on the conveyor belt than the actual little spiny things, that doesn't make any sense. Uh, but let's go ahead and go this way now, we got ourselves a bonus area, and hopefully this gets me something cool. Okay, so I have to be careful about this. TNT, not TNT, whoa, it moved quicker! Ah, I guess the longer you take, the quicker it goes, right? Luckily, it's a bonus area, so I should have indefinite tries, and I'm gonna be using every single one of those. There are 145 boxes you can get. There we go, that was a little bit better. I mean, it was still a little scary, but one, two, one. Okay, that's scary as well. I mean, actually, I'm think I think I'm supposed to Okay, okay, that could have been better, for sure. I can't get up here anymore. Did I just mess that up? I think I did. Oh boy, hold on. Yeah, no way. Unless I can do, did I still have that spin jump glitch? Yeah, let's try that. Yeah, they do! <laughs> All right, cool, I'll take it. If you don't know, if you slide jump and then you kick at the same time, you get a little bit of a boost on your jump height. Okay, so what do I gotta do here? Oh, you know what I was supposed to do there? Oh, I know. I don't know if this is possible to break anymore. But when it comes to this over that, oh, well, I fell. How do? How in the world do I get into there? Maybe I messed some stuff up. I should probably just try this again one more time. This is really fun so far, though. I'm glad we're trying this out. But the game looks just as beautiful as it does on the PS4 so far, in my opinion. I'm playing it on the TV, so like, oh. Oh, come on. Oh, I got lucky. Got so lucky. Ah, oh, that is so difficult. But if I can, hmm, let me double check that again because I think I'm still doing something wrong there to get the uh, extra stuff I'm looking for. So we're gonna go ahead and not explode, very nice, and then go this way and we need to, uh, this is gonna be tough. No, see I need to find a way, this is where I think I need, uh, a double jump or something. I don't think this is something I could do without any of Crash's, uh, you know, moves that he unlocks later in the game. So we'll keep trying and see. Okay. Oh boy, got it. But if I could just, no, no, no. It's so tough to do on this little platform. I honestly don't think it's possible to do the spin jump glitch and get up there, but I'll try it a couple more times and see if I can't get it. Okay, so I've tried a couple times. It's just, I, I did it once, but then I messed up on everything else. It would clearly be a much easier situation um, if you had all the power-ups. Like, it really wouldn't even be too bad, in my opinion. So maybe we will try this again at some point, but I just do not have the time to replay through the entirety of Crash 3, you know, in the next couple days or weeks or anything. It's, it's, it's been busy enough for me. So we'll have to wait and see if you guys want to see me 100% at this level. You can let me know, but for now, Let's just try to be careful with everything. Cause this is tough. I'm trying to figure out how I do this. Not like that. That is really bizarre. That's another one where it's like, can you actually make the jump without superpowers? I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. I don't recommend doing this level without all of the Crash 3 power-ups, but you know, if you're like me and you just want to showcase it and also showcase the Switch version at the same time, sort of just in a bad situation. So if I go ahead and attack now, oh my gosh, the hitbox on those guys are really weird. Uh, I'll try that again now. Oh boy, get away from him. I'm just gonna walk around you. At this point, I don't really care which boxes I hit, unless, oh my gosh. I'm glad I have at least some lives, but I don't have too many, so I also have to make sure things go pretty well. But not too surprising, this level is very challenging. There we go. See, that's all I was looking for before. <laughs> okay, it looks like there's more and more boxes that will have to have like an exclamation crate at some point. That's weird. I'll say that, that is really weird. How am I supposed to see that guy? He's clearly off screen. That, that, that's a weird choice. But so far the level's been pretty cool. There have been some interesting decisions like that one. Oh my gosh. I am not a big fan of the hitboxes on those things. <laughs> this is not turning out well. Try it again. Come on, come on Crouch, you can do it. I know it's tough, but if there's anybody you can do it, it's you. Maybe not. Okay, so I was actually able to get through it, but they gave me uka uka just because I felt bad. That guy being up there is sort of kind of baloney. I mean, apparently there's a way to get up there, you know, probably with the uh, Crash 3 power-ups once again. I don't know, I, I can only imagine that this is just engine trying to be a total jerk to us with these rockets. That's tough. That is crazy tough. Once again, if I had that spin jump, not that big of a deal, but I don't got no spin jump, so I have to be really careful with how I do this. 
It's It adds a lot of challenge. If you're looking for an extra challenge to this level, don't do it with any power-ups. <laughs> it's, it's really, really difficult, if possible. This one, I'm like sort of like, I don't know. Cause I, I can go like that, and then I can go like this, and somehow make it. Not bad, not bad. And then we got ourselves checkpoint, that's good, thank you. It really is like the Crash 3 version of the uh, Rainy Tower, or whatever it was called, I forgot. Okay, I need to go down this way. I need to, ow, get hit by that. Thank you, Uka Uka, for being the best ever, though. Oh, boy. Okay, so we have an extra, I am not getting that extra life. Are you kidding me? Whoa, no! Oh, wow. Luckily, I have this checkpoint. But we're down to five lives. If I'm not too careful, things might turn out not so bueno. Like that. I was hoping I could still have an Uka Uka for this area, because I really could use it. Okay, so he's gonna shoot. Okay, I can hit him like that though, pretty good. Whoa, man! I, maybe I'm doing that wrong. Maybe it'd be just, just be smarter to hold on tight and try to jump over it one way or another. Okay, got him. Not bad. And then just jump over this stuff. Oh no, I'm gonna get a game over, aren't I? I really hope I don't. I'm at two lives, this is really bad. Okay, got it. Try this out. Come on, come on, come on. Whoop. Oh no. <laughs> Why? Why is that so difficult? So I'm like a little 50 50 on this level. Some parts of it are pretty cool. Some of them I'm like, okay, that's a little too difficult. At least without the Crash 3 powers. I'm pretty sure they assume that you're supposed to have the Crash 3 powers. No! Okay. I got the extra life. I'm still in the game. And they give me the Uka Uka. Thank you. Let's not waste it on something silly. So let's make sure that we get you the way we know how to. And then get up here. And then high jump over and then try to land on this dude, so we're good, we're good. Long jump. Okay, jump, jump. Oh boy, we made it! Nice, there's so many different boxes we missed out on, that's pretty crazy. Why are there two gems as well? I guess we really missed out on some stuff. But I think that if we wanna really go in and get 100%, we really need a 100% crash file, so. I will probably replay this at some point if you guys wanna see a 100% playthrough. But I figured what might be fun is just spending a couple of extra minutes playing some different levels here on the Switch version that I've already played in the past, of course, but at least we get a good idea of what the game looks like um, on this version. I think it, it looks really nice in my opinion. What level do I need to beat? Oh, you know what? I know I, I, fa I didn't face Palm, but I uh, I face Hooved. Uh, when I realized I didn't get the the uh, crystal in this level. I'm still not in the mood to play that level. We're gonna go to the first level in the game, because it's one of my favorites, Toad Village. I just played through that one a little bit. And like I said, I think it's so exciting that, uh, I know we've been here, don't worry. <laughs> um, I think it's so very exciting that Crash is actually coming to different consoles, and I can only hope the same will happen with the, uh, with the Spyro remake. Of course, Spyro uh, Reignited Trilogy is coming out this September. I'm gonna be doing a full playthrough of that one. Similarly, how I did a full playthrough of this Crash Insane Trilogy last year, and that'll be a lot of fun. Right now, I think it's still just on PS4. It might be PS4 and Xbox One, I can't remember. But I know it's eventually coming to Xbox One guaranteed. I don't think they've guaranteed a Switch port. But it would be very cool to see it. Spyro on Switch would be amazing, so hopefully that we see exactly that. But what I'm really excited for I mean, those stuff, that stuff is all very, very exciting, but you know what's more exciting to me is the fact that this game's going on PC, and I'm really hoping that maybe opens up some kind of dormant crash modding community. I would really like to see some people mod this game and sort of see what the community might end up making. Either it be you no know, custom texture packs or just custom models or even better, maybe we could end up seeing totally new levels made by fans. I feel like that kind of stuff is super duper cool and the ideas are there. I mean, I don't know if they end up like, they'll end up make, make, making like a Steam Workshop for the game or anything. I just feel like those kind of ideas would be super awesome if they ever actually took the time to implement them. So hopefully they do. There we go, get rid of that jerk. And all right, we're getting some lives back this way. Of course, sort of a typical Crash Bandicoot thing if you're having a hard time replay the first level over and over again and maybe you'll just end up getting some extra lives back. But I can only assume if Crash 3 looks good on the uh, trilogy that Crash 1 and 2 are gonna be looking just as good. Missed out on some crates, but I'm not too surprised. I like it though. I think it was a lot of fun. I'll try to get a new episode out. Probably back on the PS4 version, trying to get 
that uh, Future Tense level 100% did, but this was sort of supposed to be more showcasing the Switch version and a little bit of the Future Tense. So with all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of the Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy. If you watched this part of the video, make sure you comment Zebra Crash so that you've watched at the end that you are a Zebra Task. If you were, check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd. On the way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time, bye bye.